Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to on how channel for people that don't know my name is Enes I'm working for you so if you have any questions and video requests make sure to drop on below in a comment I will be happy to make a video for you and for people that do know welcome back and please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos in Shopify customization they were mostly requested by you guys and I know some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that I still make the video for them so don't hesitate man if you have any video requests or any questions just drop me a comment below i would be happy to provide you with the information you need or even make a video for you and yeah you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't you lose now it's a very different chapter on this channel i usually share smart customizations but now we'll be sharing complete sections highly customizable to make a shopify store very unique and very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or paying for those expensive developers or even worse paying for those monthly subscription applications just so you can have a widget or a section on your shopify store is not a very good idea or i give you a better deal Scroll Go down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge, Now I respect your decision. But now, let me fulfill another request again, which is a buy subscriber at this time I know, which is how to make the header change logo on scroll, so the header, I mean the header on your Shopify store will have two logos. One is the normal one that will show up once you access the Shopify store, and once you scroll down, it will change the logo to your liking, to whatever your logo you want to. And you can set that from the team settings. You don't have to dive into the code or write any code or anything like that. It's very simple. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it and show you how to make the header change logo on scroll. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each time I add like small customizations, but the video will be like 70 or 80. The team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway because this is a very different chapter as I, as I said. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy all in one place, and it's filterable. If I click on Google, only the reviews from Google. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show up on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, and it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, for who to show up, and how long it stays open, and the intervals between them, and of course, the customizations, the colors, and so on. And yeah, all this by using your own custom code, no applications involved, and many, many more. I cannot mention them all. Just check out the channel for the million time again. But I'll quit now, I promise. So what I said, I will show you in this video is making the header change logo. For example, you see, I have now this uh, header. Oops, you see what you witnessed right now? What you witnessed right now is those pop-up that shows up once you're trying to leave the page or trying to close the page, they suddenly show up. That's exactly what you saw right now. And I added this, this is not any like pop-up, random pop-up. This is abandoned cart reminder pop-up that will remind the customer before he leaves the website or the Shopify store particularly, hey, you got some products added to the cart. Make sure to go check out. And yes, this by using your own custom code, no applications involved, and it's triggered by the mouse cursor once the user is trying to leave the page. That's exactly what happened right now. So let me close this and show you what I'm talking about. This one right here. So this one, once I scroll down, it will change the logo. Once I scroll up, it will get back to the normal logo. And yeah, you can do that without having to write any code or anything like that. So the next thing you're going to do, or the first thing you're going to do is get back to Shopify down team. But for my case, because the Shopify store, I have so many customizations on it. For example, this drop down right here, it opens a new level for the drop down. I will do demonstration for this video in a new team, which is this one right here. It's down team, the latest version, same as the one I'm using, and I will use it for demonstration. And by the way, this trick that I will show you right now is time proof. It will work anytime. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on the left to customize for the team you are using, then click on edit code. Then it will take you to the team editor for your Shopify team. And in here on the left panel, you see all files in here. We need to find a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders and files, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in header, just like you see. No, oh, I mistyped it. Here is header. And you will see this file right here, header.liquid. Make sure to access this file, header.liquid. Click on it. A bunch of liquid code will show up, no worries. This is very simple and you can do it just like you are five years old. And I'm sure you're not. So the first thing you're going to do is take a backup. Simply select the whole thing by clicking on Control A or Command A if you're on Mac. Then copy the whole code, place it in a note or anywhere safe just in case. You don't like it and you want to get back to, to the previous version. In my case, I don't. I'm going to keep this. After you did take a backup, Simply remove the whole thing. After that, you will have a completely empty file. And we need to paste in some code. And where are you going to get that code? As always, some description box. Scroll down description box and you will see a link to my website. Click on it. 
then download the file completely free and it will be named as well header.liquid open the file with any text editor on your computer then copy the whole text inside it then simply pass it in here that was very simple right simply download the file completely free open it with any text editor copy the code pass it in here click on save button wait for a couple of seconds it save it we will get back in here the team editor for your uh, team and after that click on header just like this and now we need to set the logo because I don't have logo this is just the text I'm gonna click on settings on the left corner here then click on logo I'm gonna select a logo here uh, let me actually select the or let me select github yeah I'm gonna select github logo now it should set logo. this is just for me because I don't have a logo and after that click again on the header just like this and you will see this sticky logo option in here it says this logo will be shown when you're scrolling down that's very simple right simply click on select just like this and select any logo I'm gonna select Gemini logo for Gemini click on save then click on done save like this and now as you can see I have github logo once if I scroll down boom Gemini if I scroll up github if I scroll down Gemini if I scroll up github and so on and that's how you make the logo change on scroll on your Shopify store very simple as you can see you can do it even if you're like five years old and I'm sure you're not I'm just joking if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one